So I'm hearing a lot of talk about the designated hitter, and it might be instituted in the National League as soon as 2021. You got people pissed off on both sides, so I thought I'd join in on the discussion. So let's talk about the DH. And he drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today, talking about the designated hitter, there's been articles and there's been talk about this rule possibly coming to the National League. Now, if you don't already know, which I'm sure you do, but the designated hitter is simply a hitter who hits in place of the pitcher so that the pitcher doesn't have to bat because typically a pitcher doesn't hit very well, especially at the major league level because pitchers are not hired or drafted based on their hitting ability. They are drafted and employed based on their pitching ability. And this has caused from the early days of baseball, it has caused pitchers to be not very good hitters. And that is why the DH was originally instituted in the American League. Now, obviously, when baseball was first invented, there was no reason to have a DH. Probably nobody thought of it. Nine positions, you go out and play your position, and then you come in and you hit. And I'm sure everybody wanted to hit, and it was so much fun. But the pitcher became such an important position, especially when they started throwing harder and throwing curves, and it got to the point where you weren't just trying to throw the ball so that they could hit the ball. No, you were trying to throw the ball to prevent them from hitting the ball. You were trying to get them out. And then the pitcher became a very skilled position very quickly. And by the turn of the century, around 1900, the pitcher was by far the most important position on the field and a very valuable asset. And teams did not employ their pitchers based on their hitting ability. And it became quickly evident that the weakest hitting batter in most lineups was going to be the pitcher. So even from the early days, you got Eddie Plank, who pitched from 1901 to 1917, won 326 games with a 2.35 earn run average, Hall of Fame pitcher, but in over 1,600 at-bats, he hit 206 with three home runs. And amazingly, a 206 average by a pitcher today might actually be considered pretty good. But the A's manager, Connie Mack, was like, what the freak am I supposed to do about this situation here? He told Major League Baseball in 1906, we need to have a batter in the place of the pitcher because this is getting ridiculous. My pitchers can't hit. They can't. They go up there and make a fool of themselves. Come on now. We got to do something about this. Unfortunately, Connie Mack never saw anything done about it. He had to continue putting up with it and running his pitchers out there to hit. Understandably, it would frustrate a manager, but that's the way it was for many, 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 many years. And that is the main negative when it comes to letting pitchers hit. They don't hit well. They are normally terrible. Last season, pitchers in the National League had a batting average of 131 with an on-base of 161 with a slugging of 168. Numbers that are just beyond bad. Most of them are out there. They look like they're clueless. In reality, I'm sure they're fine hitters. Like if we were to go to the park and play, you know, me and a couple of my buddies, we'd probably be like, oh my gosh, this guy's awesome. You know what I mean? But when you're facing major league pitching, it's a whole different deal. Like myself, for instance, I can go out to the ballpark and you can lob me some pitches and you might think, hey man, this is a good hitter. Put me up in a major league stadium against a major league pitcher and I'll look like a complete idiot. Most of them are not even professional level hitters, much less major league level hitters. There are exceptions. There are good hitting pitchers, but even good hitting pitchers most of the time are not going to hit well enough that they'd have a job in the big leagues if they couldn't pitch. There are a few exceptions, you know, like your Michael Lorenzen. Those guys are known as two-way players because they can do both and they can play a position if needed. So on January 11th, 1973, the American League voted to approve the designated hitter. And not surprisingly that year, the American League had a much better batting average than the National League and they have continued to hit better overall than the National League to this day. And that's not surprising with one league having a ninth guy who can hit and the other league having a ninth guy who usually can't hit very well. So that's how it is. There is a problem though, especially now with interleague play. It used to be just the World Series, you deal with it. I mean, obviously the World Series is kind of an important series, so it does matter. But you know, now American League teams are playing National League teams all the time. And American League teams are having to adapt to having to get their pitchers out there to hit. Pitchers who haven't hit all year, who haven't run the bases all year. So pitchers in the National League, at least they've seen Major League pitching all year. At least they've kind of used to picking up a bat and going up there and trying. They're gonna have a slight edge over your American League pitchers who haven't swung a bat pretty much all year. All of a sudden, you know, they're in the game and they got a hit. 
And that's how it used to be in the World Series. They're going to get a little more time now in interleague play, but it's still very tough for an American League team who's used to having a DH. Not to mention, they might have a full-time DH. Not all American League teams do this, but some do. They have a full-time DH who really can't play the field. He stinks out in the field, but maybe he hits 40 bombs. What are you going to do now? You're playing a National League team in their park. You want this guy in your lineup, you got to put him out in the field. Could be a liability out there. It's just, you get issues, okay? You get problems with, you know, is this fair? Because they play by different rules until they play each other. And then they got to pick a set of rules based on the home team. So the home team not only has the home field advantage, they also have the advantage of playing by their rules. So it is a problem, I think, with both leagues having different rules. There is another argument to be made, and you already know what that is in that strategy. Having the pitcher bat, creates a ton of strategy that otherwise doesn't exist. When you know that pitcher spot is about to come up, you got to decide what you're going to do. You're going to keep your pitcher in the game. You're going to pull him. If you're down by two runs, you got to run around first. Two outs in the inning, your pitcher's coming up. You know this guy's good. You know this guy's dominating the game. You want to keep him in the game as the pitcher. But then again, it's the sixth inning, say. You want to keep him in there for the rest of the game or at least for a couple more innings. But this might be your only chance to tie the game. Do you pinch hit? Because if you pinch hit, you got to bring in a reliever next inning. What do you do? Those kind of situations don't come up in the American League. Obviously, why would it come up? You just have your lineup. You don't have to worry about that. If you're a pitcher, you're going to approach it differently. You know that pitcher spot is coming up in the lineup. How are you going to pitch to guys matters. Because you know that they're having that one spot in the lineup, that one weakness in the lineup, if you will, creates more strategic ideas. It just does. Things like the double switch will be effectively gone. The double switch is a really interesting strategic idea. Bench players are more important in the National League. Um, strategic ideas like this, like I'm talking about, are more important in the National League. It just is. It's just the way it is. So you can't tell me, oh, you know, if you get rid of the DH, there's still going to be a lot of strategy. Well, there'll be a lot of strategy, but not as much. Those things I told you aren't going to exist. You know, they're not going to worry about the pitcher spot coming up because there is no pitcher spot coming up. They're not going to do double switches. You don't need to do double switches. Do you ever see double switches in the American League? Very rare. In the National League, all the time. I'm not trying to say, screw the DH. I don't want the DH. I'm not trying to make a big rant about it. But I see everybody like hardcore on, on one side or the other. A lot of people saying, you know, there's no reason to not have DH. No reason. I just told you a few reasons. Obviously, if you like those strategic ideas, there you go. Obviously, if you like having that weakness in the lineup every game from both sides because it brings more of those strat uh, strategic ideas, okay. But if you're going to say, well, it's not worth it because it's it's so embarrassing to watch them hit because they're clearly not major league caliber hitters, that makes sense too. There's arguments on both sides. I agree that this is probably going to come to the National League and Maybe it has to come to the National League. Maybe that this era is over. If you experienced the era of the non-DH, you got to be a part of baseball history when pitchers hit. And I'm telling you, you can be old, you can be 95, and you can take your great-grandson, and you can say, Sonny, I used to watch the game when pitchers hit. And the kid's going to be like, the f What? <laughs> pitchers hit that's the dumbest thing i ever heard that's like saying i used to watch football when the quarterbacks kicked like they don't do that but they did they used to hit that's how it's going to be i think there's going to be a time when it's just thought of as insane to let a pitcher hit because pitchers are not paid to hit they don't know how to hit although there are exceptions and that's one of the funnest things about it we would have never had moments like this oh, looking for his first hit of the year oh. he drives one deep left field that goes up to back near the wall it's out of here <laughs> bartolo has done it the impossible has happened so there's both sides to it in my heart i'm gonna say right now i like the national league i would prefer there be no dh my whole life since i was born the American League's had the DH, the National League has not. That doesn't mean it's the way it should be. And apparently, I believe it is going to change. I don't know if it's going to be 2021 or later. I don't know when it's going to change, but the DH is coming to the National League. I've already pretty much accepted that. Um, there's really no talk about removing the DH. That's not a thing. It's always, when is the DH coming to the National League? It's coming. It's coming. So I would say if you hate the idea of the DH being in the National League, I would say try to accept it now. That way, when it happens, hey, you're ready for it. And uh, you know what? It's going to be more offense. We'll get used to it just like everything else. Thanks so much for joining me again. I'm sorry that I don't have a really solid, crazy stance on it. I mean, my stance is I would prefer it not come to the NL. But 
the fact that it is coming and the fact that there is arguments for why it should come to the um, National League, then I really have nothing to say. You can call me grandpa, call me whatever you want, call me old timer, call me traditionalist. I really don't care. I'm just telling you just my personal taste, but I know it's coming. So I've accepted it's coming and I'm gonna move on because I love baseball. It's still baseball. So let's freaking do some baseball right here on the Hum Baby Baseball channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, check out the links, check out my Twitter, and I got a Patreon too if you wanna help this channel grow and do big things. Hum Baby Baseball, we'll talk to you next time. See ya. When the Giants come to town